This is Twit. All right, tell us about your story of the week. All right, I like to think that my story of the week is interesting and really cool as well. We I'm talked excited. on this on this show uh, in the past many times, different time, uh, different moments. Uh, different times throughout you know the last couple of years about AI and AI's impact on art. And then, of course, we've got Dolly that you, I believe, had as your story of the week not too long ago. I, I, or it was an interview. I can't remember what yeah, it was an exactly. Yeah. It was an interview. That's right. With uh, some of the people who created the tool. Well, apparently there has been bubbling around a Dolly Mini, a mini version of Dolly that was created uh, back in July of last year. Uh by a gentleman named Boris Dama. He produced and uh, coded coded this over the course of a single month. It was part of a competition that was held by Google and also the AI community Hugging Face. Hmm. <laughs> nice name. Uh, and and it's out there. This is, this is an example of that AI image technology that everybody wants to get their hands on but can't use. Yeah. This is an example that you can use. How do they? So is this actually Dolly? I don't. I don't. I'm not think that this is exactly Dolly. Okay. I think this is a system like a like a maybe it's a stripped down version. I'm not quite sure exactly the um, the correlation between the full Dolly uh, system and Dolly Mini, but. And, and yeah, I saw your message in Slack, John. It's really overwhelmed. Basically, this this was created, and I think it's been out there since middle of last year. But it's suddenly been discovered by you know everyone, and so it's getting really impacted. So if you actually go to the website, you're going to have a hard time loading it. And actually, it's it's more impacted than it has been when I use it. When you're pulling it up on the screen here, and you, it's just saying, "Please wait." It's not even giving you the interface. But anyways, do a search for Dolly Mini. Uh, it's on huggingface.co and you'll find the tool. I was using it this morning at like six in the morning and I was having no problem. So probably time of day, you know, how yeah. many people are using it and everything. But, um, you know, the creator admits, uh, Boris admits it, quote, kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about these things is that the more you use them, the better they get, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's getting slammed. People are using this like crazy right now. Um, and the more it gets used, the smarter it gets, the better it's going to continue Im improving and everything. There are certain things that work better on it than others. Cartoons, uh, characters like that, that have more simple characteristics, definitely work well, uh, easier to decipher and replicate. Landscapes achieve better results because it's harder for the human eye to really pick out like, oh, that tree doesn't look perfect or trees just kind of look imperfect, you know, as, as a whole. Yeah, and so yeah. it's harder to, to see that people oh, like pulling in people kermit the frog. yes lots of memes out there right now about kermit the frog right um but people you'll you'll start to see a real breakdown and you're like well i guess that kind of looks like tom cruise <laughs> but his face is all smeary and everything so it's not perfect but you can play around with it there's tons of different sites that are kind of featuring these and if you're on social media you'll see a lot of people posting the grid it's like nine or 12 images i went on a tear this morning and created a carousel of images to surprise you with, Micah. I'm so excited. And so basically my, my uh, and you can s start to see it up here on the screen. <gasps> they were Dunks. all Chihuahua images, but in the uh, in the style of different artists. So who is that? That's uh, Banksy. That's Banksy. Okay, your eyesight is better than mine. Uh, this is Kevin, is it Harding or Herring? Keith. Oh, Keith. Okay, my eyesight is really bad apparently. I can't see that that far away. Chihuahua in the style of Keith Herring. There we go. You can read these better than I can. Uh, this is Goya. Yes. Yes. So Goya. this is Chihuahua in the oh. style of Goya. Oh my God. Those ones are kind of terrifying. Those, I, know. <laughs> I love it. They're, they're the so one in the top though. right. <laughs> Go, uh, Chihuahua in the style of Johannes, Johannes Vermeer. Vermeer. There you go. Uh, in the Frida Kahlo. Oh, <laughs> those are pretty cute. Those I really self like those a lot. Are <laughs> uh, Basquiat. There you go. Whoa, I love that one in the bottom right. It's oh, it feels yet. super. Yeah, um, what is the? It, it feels like it's a cave oh, yeah, drawing. Yeah, yeah. Almost. Go back to basket. Oh yeah, you're back on it. Oh yeah, totally. And then if you were on the interface, like if you actually loaded this up, you could click any one of these and it would full full screen. It Do you, you. Can you rate them? Can you say like this one is a good one? This one's oh, a bad one. Oh, that's a good question. I didn't look because that look would into be that. some sort of. 
yeah, thing for the, for the brain to use. Yeah. Yeah. And say this. Like, so anyways, Rembrandt, you know, I did Andy Warhol and I just had a whole lot of fun. Oh. The, the one that didn't really work and I oh, Picasso's good too. There's lots of real, I mean, <laughs> the Rembrandt one cracks me up. <laughs> that one's hilarious. Oh, but it's so great. Like how cool that you can just type out a, a sentence and say, I want all this ridiculous stuff in a single image. And you end up getting these selections. I'm going to save all of these. They're not perfect, but they are pretty impressive. Yeah. And again, this technology, this type of technology, like we're early on this. Mm -hmm. Like imagine how amazing this is going to be in five years. I want to see Dali do these now. Um, you know, oh, yeah, like the real, yes, like the full-blown Dolly. I mean, yeah. man, I can't wait till we get access to that. If, yeah, if it I, happens. I signed I mean, up for access, um, but I don't know what their rules are. Yeah. So I don't know, because that's the thing. I don't know if this person who made this got access to the Dolly tool set or whatever, if they posted it online in this way, I don't think that's allowed. So I don't know what they're doing here or if they just had a, a similar model or what. Anyway, I mean, I'm curious I have to imagine background. it's allowed because it was part of a, a contest that Google held oh. um, in, in collaboration with whatever that site was. Uh, I'm looking through my notes. Hugging Face or? Yeah, Hugging Face. Yeah. So it was a, it was like an official legitimate thing. So I don't, so I don't understand the relationship between full scale Dolly and this, but, uh, nonetheless, if you have a creative combination of things that you want to see how a computer does on it, go for it. I did try plugging in like Micah Sargent in space and, uh, you know, I, a few others, I, I put Leo somewhere, but it doesn't it, like, it has to be trained on images. Right. Yeah. And uh, while you and Leo are very well known in tech circles, I don't know if the creator <laughs> yeah. of this tool no reason why knew they should to have feed our you photos. into the yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. But I tried. I was like, oh, it would let's be see what cool it comes up with. if it could pull from like an image search and pull that into its own you know machine yeah. learning model, and then take or if you that could, photo, or if you could, or if you could upload, yeah. and say and these say, are a hundred images photo. of me. Yeah, or just I like, happen to have a hundred yes, images of hey. me. <laughs> So anyways, I That's thought that so was fun. really cool. No, no doubt if you're on online, on social media, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of these in Instagram and Twitter. And I know I've been seeing them for a hours. while. But uh, yeah, try it out yourself and see what you come up with. And maybe your experience will be better than John's right now. He's still waiting. And even when you get through, you'll put through a search query and you hit go. And um, like nine times out of 10, it'll pop back an error message that says we're too overloaded. You know, and you just kind of keep going. Set an alarm for 3 a.m. <laughs> Play around with Dolly Mini. A lot of fun and uh, just really compelling to Agreed. see this technology kind of improving and, and democratizing and everything. So there you go. All right. All right. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Where where are you? Um, a new demo will be better. Oh, maybe they're changing it is now available. Okay, yeah, so click that. There you go. Okay, so now you have your field. So what is uh what is the query that you want to do? Oh, I have no. <laughs> oh, oh, do uh you you like bagels? Uh, uh bagels in space, sure. And, and it does take. See, so you get that error error message, and I was just like hit uh, hit I enter. I was ready to go. No, you, and no. even once you put it through, it takes like a couple of minutes. So it'd be hard to get a follow up on this, but. I would just keep on going. I had like three or four different windows oh, open. Oh, nice. And just hopping it's like uh, stuff. when you try to order a Pixel phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or buy tickets on Ticketmaster. Yeah. yeah. Actually, they, they don't allow you to do that anymore. But anyways, try it out for yourself. And uh, yeah, share share what you come up with in the Discord or IRC. Yeah, let's, let's see, see it. it there.